Whenever uh, a wind power developer has identified a site that they think is a good idea, it's really important that they sit down with the community early on in the process. And that happened in Mars Hill. We saw the community members learning about the project and the developers learning about the community. We looked at this as an opportunity to get a nice, clean industry into town uh, that could help support our tax base. Wind here is a local crop we know we all have. So it just made sense to do harvesting of that crop and then it made sense to add to our local economy. I talk a lot about natural resources that we have right here in our community. And of course the windmill project was a great opportunity to, to teach that in the classroom. They're just like really cool. They're so big and they help out and they're cool. Mars Hill is getting $500,000 a year from uh, revenue taxes uh, from this project alone. It will wind up reducing the tax burden on all our homeowners and landowners by about 20 percent. When they discovered that there was indeed interest amongst all the landowners, they asked who to have involved in local outreach because their philosophy is a project has to be shaped by the community it's in. It has to, to reflect the local culture. The windmills going in there, it made sense for me. It was a perfect fit. And it certainly has been a perfect fit for the city of Lackawanna. I came to be involved because they recognized that they wanted somebody who was Native Hawaiian and who, who was uh, used to dealing with the Native Hawaiian community. No matter what we do as people of technology, it's really important, no matter where we go in the world, to be sensitive of the culture that we're walking in. Their business plan is based on developing, constructing, financing, owning and operating their wind farms. So they're looking to do it right. They're not looking to make any shortcuts and they're not looking to take advantage of anyone because they have to be here and they have to be accountable for all of their actions. Kahiawa is uh, what I would consider to be a very good uh, example of the use of partnerships in, in, in developing the project throughout the years. Uh, those developers work very effectively with the state and uh, with, uh, with the community. Things have gone just exactly as we drew them up. And they used main contractors, they used all the local resources that they could use. We had a few hundred main residents employed during construction. 75% of those people were right from Aroostook County and within a 30 mile radius of this, this site right here. Gas stations, uh, hardware stores, uh, hotels, restaurants, a lot of businesses profited from this project and are still continuing to profit from this project. They were actually a very good developer to work with. Uh, what they said they would do, they, they did. And when you're working with a developer, that's an important thing. It's very positive to see uh, how many people get together to make this happen and know that it's a good thing for not only for the country, but uh, you know, even the world.